I credit the girls for playing our game. We told them before the game started that um, we need to continue our momentum from our game against Reno. Uh, in our game against Reno, we maintained possession pretty well, played in a two-touch rhythm, um, and that helped us keep the ball and play our game. Um, a game that could have gotten really direct, um, we managed to play our game and impose our style of play in the game, so we're really happy about that. Yeah, that was something that we talked to them about um, at halftime, about continuing to try to keep the ball higher up the field and not play defensively. Um, they did a great job of that, and. Um, you know, I, I think they kind of, they've built some momentum now. Two shutouts in a row, um, two wins in a row, and our first home game. So that was a uh, win, so that was good. Mark just keeps saying, you know, forwards gotta press, forwards gotta press, forwards gotta press. And he's like, no matter how tired you are, you gotta keep pressing. It just makes them, you know, shank balls, and it gives us goal scoring opportunities. So as long as we were pressing on the field, I thought we were gonna be fine. And she's one of those players, she's incredibly athletic, incredibly gifted athletically um, and you couple that with her work rate and her um, drive to get better and learn more and um, you know that's just going to be a recipe for a couple goals off of effort and athleticism. I would say that it would be possession and unity. We're uh, really focused now on playing a full 90 minute game instead of playing a really strong first half and then kind of an okay second half or a weak second half and pulling together for the whole 90 minutes and possessing for the whole 90 minutes and keep like our keeping driving forward for the whole 90 minutes is crucial to our last two months.